We head to South Africa now and a rare good news story about an endangered species. Two rescued rhinos are thriving thanks to the extraordinary steps taken by conservationists to keep them safe. The CBC's Margaret Evans has their story. In the lush hills of KwaZulu-Natal, there lives a rather famous couple. They have interesting neighbours, a vast garden and their own security guards. Meet Tabo and Ntombi, two rhinos orphaned in 2009 and nurtured at this private reserve called Tula Tula. It means quiet and tranquility in Zulu. And I just started to watch her and just learn her and then we just bonded very, very quickly after that. So then the challenges just became pleasures really. She was just awesome. Alison McPhee is a veterinary nurse who volunteered for a two-month stint in South Africa five years ago when she was assigned in Tombi, then just five months. Today, Alison is still here and taking us out for a viewing. No, I see the rhinos. They're a rare good news story when it comes to the plight of the rhino, threatened by relentless poaching. Tabo and Ntombi weren't orphaned because of poaching, but Tabo was shot in the leg by poachers three years ago. Since then, the pair has had 24-7 protection. Because they have their own personal security detail, it's relatively easy for Alison to find them in the bush. But because they're reintroducing them into the wild, she's not allowed to have contact anymore. It's easy for her to pick out in Tombi, she says, because she's always loved a good scratch. It's tough to let them go, but it's needed. I mean, they're six years old now, they should be wild. The men who've become their constant companions, shadowing them through the bush, she says, are a different story, a non-negotiable necessity. They travel in twos, just like the rhinos. Do you start to think like a rhino? Yeah, sometimes. Richard Chogosan works a 12-hour shift, but like Alison, he's convinced it's necessary. In South Africa, we got a big problem with the poaching. No one teach them about the environment. Until then, this little family unit at Tula Tula will stick together, straddling their worlds. Margaret Evans, CBC News, KwaZulu-Natal.